doing? Uh, Is the sun getting to you? Uh, Happy New Year! <laughs> so we have been in Gibraltar now for over six weeks and we are absolutely loving it. We've spent our Christmas and our New Year here and the weather has been absolutely phenomenal. We had my brother over for a week for Christmas, which was absolutely great. We spent way too much time with the monkeys. We spent way too much time drinking. The cocktails are really good here. And generally speaking, being lazy, having fun, and really fitting into the Ocean Village lifestyle, as it seems. So let us show you around Ocean Village. <laughs> Come on. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome aboard our floating home rattle. I'm Daria, this is Chris, and that's Jasper. And these are our three seaworthy dogs, Hachi, Luna, and Mimi. We're just an ordinary family navigating life one sail at a time. In June 2023, we left Scotland behind with no plan to return. We live, sail, and work full time all while cruising Europe, for now. Every wave tells a story and every sail brings us closer to the unknown. We invite you to be part of our adventure as we share our experiences, insights and the ups and downs of living life on a boat. So sit back, relax, enjoy and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now the first and most important stop of course is the chandlery. It's open, yeah. There is Chris in his natural habitat. Two paddles and a cap later and we're off to... Where are we off to? Only back to the boat. I've been carrying this around all day. <laughs> Ocean Village, it's pretty cool. We're over here in Marina Bay, somewhere up on this pontoon. Chandlery's in the back there if you need it. Um, plenty of restaurants and bits and pieces in here. It's been great fun. We've uh, really enjoyed the past month and a half here. Um, it's cool because we've got a we've got a direct view from here up to the rock from the boat. Uh, I'm pretty sure they photoshopped the blue here though because it's not quite that blue. <laughs> Is that your complaint about Ocean Village? Well, trading standards. Noted. Yeah. So we've really enjoyed our time here. Ocean Village is like a big floating village, literally, with every oh, f me. <laughs> it's just trip full of cleat. <laughs> with everything uh, you possibly could need to write around us. Anything from supermarkets to restaurant to cocktail bars. Um, everything's really, really handy. Um, the Rock is only a 15-20 minute walk away, and then many hours, many hours of a hike up. Um, but it's been really great. It's quite a central location. I'm really pleased that we managed to actually get in here. Um, it took some persistence. So if, if any of you have met Daria, you'll understand that she's extremely persistent. She's like a dog with a bone. So <laughs> that's how we managed to get in here. And we've had a lot of people asking us, how did you get into Ocean Village Marina? It's absolutely booked out. There's no space. There's nothing. And Daria, for, for what, a month? <laughs> It wasn't that bad. Every day for a month you were hounding them until they just relented. I wasn't hounding them, I was politely asking if a space has become available. And funnily enough it did after a month of Daria hounding them. Mm. Uh, so what we're saying, I think the key lesson here is be more like me. In, in fairness, <laughs> well done. Because yes, here we are and it's lovely. Best porn star martinis in Ocean Village. Seriously, huh? They're all right. We've actually been really impressed with the facilities here at the marina. Um, a, there's a bath, which I've literally waited for for months before we got here, and I was so set on coming here, partially because of that, and um, thanks to Jenny at Sail Hub who mentioned that once upon a time, and I did not forget. <laughs> um, but overall, I mean, the, the place is absolutely gorgeous. One of the best skip marinas we've actually been in um, since we've left the UK. And I mean, and they do not compare to UK ones. So everyone tells you to come to Gibraltar to fill your tanks. Since leaving the UK, every single yachtsman we meet says, fill your tanks in Gibraltar, fill your tanks in Gibraltar. So over there is two 
fuel docks and about a pound a litre at the moment. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Chris is very excited about the fuel prices here, can you tell? That's better than it's, pound 70 in Scotland. It's the little things. Yeah. And this is what I, as a wife, have to put up with. A daily trip to Chandlery to pick up many necessary, unnecessary things. We went out to get one paddle, came back with two, a non-skid cleaner, a shampoo, and a plan to destroy the boat further. With many shiny silver stainless things in the Chandlery. Maybe we'll just buy a shiter next time. Yeah, let's buy a new boat. <laughs> Here comes the reception committee. Hey guys! You are my favourite trio of stop it! Yes, 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 baby. Come on! Luna, come on! Are you coming, Haji? Come on, buddy. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. You are a good girl. Yeah. You're so weird. Go to Dada. So we've dropped off our new paddles and bits on the boat. Had a quick change. It's bloody hot today. And now we're off to source some Yanmar filters, parts, chandelier, <laughs> Chris's stuff, you know. Yeah, all right. He says boring is good when it comes to engines, but is it really? I mean, there's probably some weird merit in that logic. Yes, we're not in the game of making it into a plate by the skin of our teeth with an engine on fire. Well, live a little. See, I said they were going to show you around Ocean Village and what I really should have said was we're taking you on a tour of our chores for the day. How exciting! Are you sad? Yeah, I can only mean one thing now. What time is it? <laughs> it's chips and cocktails. Must be because the ship in here has the best bloody chips we've had in ages. Where's the important stuff? Oh, there's a new menu, look. So when Daria says, follow us around on our chores, this is what we mean. Chores. I mean, we did do things. Totally did do things. We got two oars and some soap. And we did the laundry today. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So, but that wasn't filmed, because that's kind of boring. Not that this isn't, but you know. What an absolute animal, just mix it all together. Excuse me, Edinburgh chips. Jesus.
So I have no idea what I'm doing, but I've kind of fumbled my way through most of the teak here and um, this seems to be working, but what a mess it makes. <laughs> have to work really cleanly. Anyway, it'll work. We're not using the right stuff really. So the right stuff would be something like um, TDS 400 teak decking systems. Uh, but it's it's 30 quid a tube. That stuff's 5 to 10 quid a tube, so it's... No, it's not 5 to 10, it was 15. Well, okay, if you import it from the, from the UK back to Gibraltar, it's 15. In the UK, it's maybe 10 quid a tube. So... But it has worked wonderfully on everything else we've done. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. Position for this. So this is the result of our previous works here. So it's actually worked out quite well. So, uh, as you can see, we've been making our way slowly through that, and this is not quite finished yet, but this is kind of um, what it looked like before. <laughs> it's quite a fun game trying to get all this black gooey stuff off once it dries in. And it looks about something like this when it does dry up, and then we just um, sand it off. And then it ends up looking like this. So, as you can see, the boat projects literally never end. There's always something to do. And we started the tea projects back in the UK when we were first leaving. Um, I say first leaving, we were at Anchor a couple of weeks before we actually left the UK. And we have been picking away at it and it's been an, honestly an absolute pain in the ass job. But when it's looking good and it's all finished it really does look great and it will last for many years to come and I was definitely in need of replacement given that um, it was leaking left right and centre into the boat so we're making progress slowly but surely Are you all projected out for the day? Hmm. No. I'm looking for parts. What parts are you looking for? This will fix our step into the cockpit. Okay. It's a bath mat. But if you go and order the exact same thing from a marine supply company, it's three times the price. Okay. Was it Aquatic, the original? Okay, bath and shower now. It's a teak grating, but if you went and had to order that size, 600 by 400, there would be 200, 300 quid. Mad. And what are you fixing with that? Absolutely. Hello Mimi. So we've been hiding the... You're hiding it now. Can I see this? Can I see this? So this has been broken for quite a while. We've been hiding it with a, a doormat, but uh, I need to get at it, Mimi. This is not going to fix in a way that is ever going to look good. Now we've debated removing this completely, this sort of storage here. Um, but it's kind of handy and Daria needs the height to get to the winches because she's so short. So... I'm going to suffocate you in your sleep if you keep at it. <laughs> that sounds really kinky. I love it. Oh my god! So we're gonna just get rid of that and put in a teak panel and it'll look quite nice. It'll match in with a cockpit teak and it'll just be better, I think. It'll just be the easiest way to do it. It's 600 by 400. And that's what that is. Um, available on Amazon. Pop. See why you would go to the effort of trying to fix that because that is that is gone. Someone's tried to fix it before, and yeah, that's just going to keep breaking. So 
to Amazon. But you can't get Amazon in Gibraltar very easily. But you can get people to bring Amazon into Gibraltar easily enough. So. And we need to do that because we are building a water maker. We've got a membrane coming and uh, we're, we're going to try running off of a really high spec pressure washer. Um, also from Amazon. Also from Amazon. And it, it's just one of those things that we, we, we do a lot of on here. Um, if if we can do it with a piece of kit off of Amazon, it means our spares are everywhere. For example, that's our windless remote. That was 16 quid off of Amazon and it works a treat. And the spares will get to you in a day or two anywhere in the world. <laughs> can you tell he loves his Amazon just a little bit too much? Shall we feed the dogs their dinner and then go do something? <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll do something. <laughs> Let's do that. So the doggies have been fed. I think we're gonna have some dinner, we're gonna cook something, and I think we're gonna chill out for the rest of the evening. And while I'm cooking, Chris is going to knock off another project that's been sitting on our list for goodness knows how long. Weeks, months. Months. Actually, I think at this point it might actually be years. <laughs> Onions! But whilst I'm crying and cooking dinner, Chris is getting on with a... So Ragdoll's got a lot of hatches on her and she's got six of these Lumar size tins. You can see the just how crazy this one was. I don't know if you can see that from that angle. But uh, yeah, it doesn't really look very pretty. But it's an expensive hatch, so it's uh, it's cheap enough to get the acrylic and cut it to size. So, along about a year ago, I've cut and sanded them and got all the the right size acrylic made up to replace them all as we go. And there's one we've done already, which looks a lot better. So, forgive the the dog slabbers on it, but uh, a lot better. So there's a, another nice one that we've we've done that used to be really crazed and ugly. Um, so now that I've got one under the canopy here done, there's there's the hole for it. Um, so I'm doing that one now, but what I'll do is I'll replace that with the one out there and bring that back and I'll be able to keep the boat dry as I go. So I'm already maxed up and ready to go with all of them. Okay, so lens masked up fully one side with the reveal on the other side. And the uh, and there's the, the hatch all masked up. I'm using uh, probably not the right stuff technically, but I'm using theme of the day today. Yeah. C T one black and the amount of stuff I use this for in the boat is unreal. It just it's so much cheaper than Sikaflex and it, it doesn't have to do the job just as well. So, uh, here we go. Do our acetone one. So. It doesn't have to be amazing because it's uh, all going to be hidden by the black anyway. I do need to make sure I've got the hinge the right way around. So there's the hinge. The hinge is to me and the hatch and the okay so that's the bit that needs to be towards me this way so that's the way it's going to go okay cool so i'm just going to pick that up and plonk so I'll leave that like that and i'm good to go ah oh, you're you're just walk through i've got him in it <laughs> That's ruined your video. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Should be fun. It's going to squidge everywhere, but hey, in we go. Okay, I'm just going to get the gap right. Okay, 
So I think I'm going to need a little more stuff in there. Now, I'm by no means an expert at this. No idea if I'm doing this the, uh, the way the experts do it. But hey, we've done on a few. It works, there's no leaks and it looks great. So we're doing something right. So I'm just topping that up, make sure I've got enough to tool it. In the meantime, our cheek is um, curing slowly but surely. It's a fun bit. We got distracted with a couple of things yesterday. It's not the next day, and we are just about to change the lens. Lovely new lens to fit here. What a difference, huh? So, let's get the edge off. I've got the handle off, so I just need to pull a little bit of rubber out of there. And then, hopefully this will come easy. Woohoo! Okay. Now, Luna, you better not steal any of this. So that's the new lens versus... The old ones, what a difference, huh? Get rid of the dog here, huh? Right, I know what you're like. See if you steal this, it's 30 odd quid from Lumar. So, just... <laughs> Leave it. A good girl. I always thought getting the hinges off on these would be really tricky. It's not too bad. So there's just two little slidey pins, like so. And once that's done, there's a bit of rubber that sits in there that just uh, holds those two pins in. And that's that's it. That's all there is to it. Done. Then I can get the, the rest of the hardware. Those, uh, those planks are Ten pounds a piece to get one of these lenses from Lumar is hundred. So that's uh, not bad. So as you can see, we've had a fairly busy but easygoing few weeks in Gibraltar. It's been great fun. We're getting lots of things knocked off our to-do list before we start moving again um, in early March. Yeah. That's it for us, so thanks for watching and see you next time! Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and till next time!